Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair with live streaming capabilities. These are basically Ray-Ban's generation two of their smart sunglasses. But first, I'll link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. Now, these frames are really interesting and there's a lot to unpack here. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at the unboxing experience when you buy a brand new pair of these frames for yourself. All right, so taking a look at the box here, you can see it says Ray-Ban Meta and then a couple little Wayfair logos and then the logo of the sunglasses. And it is a pretty clean uh, packaging, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and open this package up. And that text through the pull line is kind of cool. It says, listen, call, live stream. And then we are just simply agreed with the sunglass case itself. And this is a battery case. So you're actually going to charge up the case. And then when you put the sunglasses in them, it's going to charge the sunglasses popping up the top you can see the button does have an LED around it which is green which I think means that the sunglasses are at full charge that's a really cool uh, feature there as well and here we have the Ray-Ban uh, Wayfarers themselves and I chose these beautiful category 2 lenses I think they look really good I do like that look and you can definitely wear these indoors too which I think is kind of important with a pair of these sunglasses then it looks like we have some warranty information here on the side pocket and a quick little get started guide and then the last thing in the top sleeve here is the little Ray-Ban uh, Meta cleaning cloth, which you're going to use to clean the frames. So really cool packaging here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual sunglasses themselves. So first impressions of these frames is that they are very heavy and they also are kind of like a fingerprint magnet as well. But looking through these clear uh, injected plastic frames, you can see the intricate uh, detail of the actual computer, uh, the microchips that are actually built into these frames, which is actually really a cool look, definitely makes them look kind of futuristic. And they do still preserve the raised Ray-Ban logo in the outside corner of the frames. Now taking a look at the inside, we can see they do say that they are made in China. And we can see a really, really beefy all metal hinge. And on that hinge is a little meta logo. And now let's jump back to the case for a quick second. It looks really nice with the Ray-Ban logo on it. And it says Ray-Ban Meta. I really do like this kind of soft material that is on the inside. And this LED on the little button is just really extra. I do really love it. And you can charge it there at the bottom with USB-C, which is really handy as well. And there's a little button that you can press, which will tell you the status of the battery of the case, which is really nice as well. So that was definitely quite a cool unboxing experience. And I absolutely love the Ray-Ban Meta case. It's absolutely gorgeous and I really do like the touch of the LED there as well it just really makes them kind of classy and pop and look futuristic but with all that being said let's go ahead and talk about the actual dimensions of these frames these are the standard size and they have 50 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge but they also do produce these in a larger lens size which has 53 millimeter lenses and the same 22 millimeter bridge now these frames are definitely very heavy coming in at 49 grams, which definitely makes them one of the most heavy pair of frames that are viewed on the YouTube channel yet. And all that weight is thanks to all the electronics uh, built into the frame. So it makes sense that they're going to be much more heavier than a traditional pair of frames would be, uh, but definitely still something to keep in mind. If you wear these for an extended period of time, you're going to get some red marks there on the nose and feel some discomfort around the ears as well. And this is just going to be simply unavoidable with the frames coming in at 49 grams. You're going to find yourself uh, taking the frames off your face and kind of uh, giving your nose a rest uh, quite often, maybe once an hour, once every two hours. Uh, which is kind of annoying with a pair of sunglasses that you're supposed to wear all day long. And they also do make these in eyeglasses as well, which people are supposed to wear, of course, all day long. And I've actually seen people out in public wearing the first generations uh, with prescription eye lenses. And I gotta definitely give them credit for that. I definitely could not endure uh, the pain, the suffering that that would uh, make if I were to wear these all day long. Again, they're just so, 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 so heavy, but again, their novelty because of all the uh, technology that is built into these frames. So it's understandable that it's heavy, but again, it makes them more of a novelty and not something you want to wear all day long. So I definitely do not recommend these as a pair of eyeglasses. 
with your custom RX prescription that you need if you're planning on wearing them for you know eight hours a day or even longer. Now, as far as the lenses go, these of course do have plastic lenses, uh, so they're going to be very lightweight. And if they did have all glass lenses, that'd probably increase the weight of an extra eight to 12 grams. So I'm glad that these have plastic lenses because uh, they'd probably be unwearable if they were that much more heavy with the all glass lenses. And I definitely don't think that you could even put glass lenses with these frames as well because of the material that they are. They're made out of an injected uh, plastic material. As far as the exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video, these have Ray-Ban shiny Rebel black frames, which are semi-transparent. And it's really cool because you can actually see through these frames. You can see the actual internals and the brain and the circuitry of these frames, which gives them definitely a very futuristic look. And the lenses here are just Ray-Ban's amber lenses. And these are a category two to lens so they are perfect for overcast days and they're also perfect to wear indoors and they're going to darken your vision uh, that much at all so just a really cool uh, tint to these and again it makes them a lot more practical because again you can wear these indoors very very easily they're not nearly as much of a pair of sunglasses as some of the other uh, styles with darker category three lenses now as far as styling goes i think these frames look pretty decent on the face they are more similar to the ray-ban wayfair ease than they are the original ray-ban wayfair and that's because they don't tilt into the cheeks nearly as much as the original Ray-Ban Wayfarer do. And I think the styling is pretty decent. Ray-Ban did a good job with the styling here. They don't scream that they are futuristic uh, too much other than if you take a close look and then do see all that detail uh, through the semi-transparent uh, material there. Uh, but if we take a look here at the top of the frames, we can see two uh, camera lenses, one here on the left and then one here on the right. And of course, a painted on Ray-Ban logo there for authentication purposes as well. Now, something that I think is very interesting about these frames is the right lens is actually a dummy lens. It actually doesn't do anything at all. It's just there for symmetry purposes, where here on the left one, that is the real lens, and it is a 12 megapixel sensor, and it is ultra wide lens as well to give you some really good POV shots. Now, taking a photo of these frames is extremely easy. All you do is you press on the top button here once, it's gonna flash the LED, it's gonna make an audible sound to you and many people around you, depending on how uh, close they are to you. And it's gonna take that photo. It's a high quality photo, 12 megapixel, and it's gonna look similar to an iPhone's uh, quality. Not quite as good, but very impressive, especially considering uh, how bad the original camera quality was on the V1 Ray-Ban Meta Stories. Now, if you want to record a video, all you do is you press and hold the top button for a little bit longer until it makes a different audible sound. And now we are recording in high quality. And as you can see here, uh, the quality is actually pretty decent. And here we can see the camera that I am filming with. It is a Canon R5C and it films in 4K at 30 frames a second. And it actually films in 8K, but I don't film my videos in 8K, but that's besides the point. Now with these frames, you can actually live stream a video to Instagram or Facebook, which is really a very cool experience. I actually did a live stream a couple weeks ago where I tried these out and people said that the video was pretty decent, a little bit choppy, but I wasn't connected to Wi-Fi. So I assume it would be better if I was connected to Wi-Fi. And just a really cool experience. All you have to do is just basically open up your Instagram or Facebook app, then go to the live streaming tab, then double We'll tap uh, the little button right there and then boom you're basically set up to make a live stream and record with these frames now keep in mind it's definitely going to drain your battery a lot uh, somewhere between 1% and 2% every single minute. So definitely a uh, quite battery intensive there. Uh, but again, you're probably not gonna be streaming for hours and hours and hours. And if you do have the case with you, you can just pop them in there and then charge them back up really quickly. So being able to live stream POV video is definitely really cool, especially for people who are streamers. I of course am not and really don't get any benefit out of that, uh, but uh, to each their own. Now, probably my favorite feature of these frames is the ability to listen to audio with an open air experience. So you just hook these up to your phone and you can play Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube videos, or whatever content you're uh, watching. You can uh, run the audio through these frames. And again, you get this open air experience, which is really good for uh, wearing these out in public. And you don't wanna be isolated from what's happening around you for safety reasons. These are a really good and very compelling option for you. Uh, because uh, people who are standing probably more than four feet around you aren't going to be able to hear much of what you're listening to. And even if you're in public sidewalk, if you crank these to the max, which is actually pretty loud, it's not gonna hurt your ears, but definitely pretty loud. Uh, people within six feet probably are not going to hear you because there's gonna be a lot of city noise in that environment. So you don't have to worry you know, too much about people listening to what you're listening to. And it's not kind of like an awkward experience. People just kind of you know, brush it off. It's not really loud. It's loud for you, but 
not for other people. And then again, you do get that open air experience, which is definitely very comfortable. I know a lot of people struggle with AirPods or different wireless headphones actually fitting in the ear. My ears actually fit Apple AirPods almost perfectly, so they are very comfortable for me, so I don't struggle with that. Uh, but I definitely know people who do struggle with AirPods and AirPods Pros is just not fitting in the ear. These are going to be a great solution for people who have issues like that. However, again, the weight here is definitely going to be annoying, uh, so keep that in mind. But I also own a pair of the original Bose Quiet Comfort uh, earbuds, and those actually hurt my ear after about an hour or two hours. And personally, I'd much prefer uh, the discomfort of wearing these frames than I would uh, the ear as far as a comfort uh, thing goes. Now, of course, the Bose audio quality is so much better than these. These have the audio quality of about maybe a $50 to an $80 pair of headphones. Nothing too crazy, uh, still not a lot of bass, but it's gonna be great for podcasts and just great for just casual music listening to. They're not bad. They're definitely not bad speakers. They are pretty good and I really do like the experience of listening to music, but I am definitely not an audiophile or an audio expert whatsoever and I definitely don't claim to be either and never have. But to give you a good comparison about the audio quality, these are somewhat similar to the first gen Apple uh, AirPods, uh, probably just a little bit worse than those to kind of give you a gauge of, of the actual quality. But something that you can't really describe very easily is just how fun this open air experience is and how seamless it is. Just put these on and listen to your music. You don't have to worry about you know bumping your ear or maybe your kid uh, bumping your ear, taking your AirPods uh, out of your ear. It's just super, super easy to just put these on and listen to music. And I really do like this experience of listening to music. I just wish you know the audio quality could be really, really good, like an AirPod Pro or something like that. So these frames just simply don't have that type of audio quality uh, that the AirPod Pros do or even higher end uh, headphones do. Now there is a touch sensitive bar on the side of these frames. So if you want to pause your music, all you do is you tap on it once. If you want to pick up a phone call, all you do is you tap on it twice. Or if you want to cancel the phone call once you are in it, you again tap on it twice. Now another really cool feature with these frames is if you are listening to music and you want to increase the volume, all you do is you swipe forward like this. And it's going to raise the volume a decent amount. And then if you want to lower the volume, all you do again is you move backwards. And again, it's actually going to lower the uh, volume as well. So really cool features. And this is actually uh, some really cool features that aren't even found on some really high-end wireless headphones as far as being able to adjust the audio with the actual glasses or AirPods themselves. So really, really interesting and a really good uh, way that they were able to implement uh, this feature on these frames. Now, as far as the camera quality goes, again, we have good camera quality here. Uh, nothing too crazy is 12 megapixel. So for image resolution, we have a 30, 24 by 40, 30. Two. And then for video, we have a 1440 by 1920. Uh, so a little bit above 1080p video at 30 frames a second, but not 4K or anything like that. Now I'm going to record another video with these frames and uh, I'm going to switch over to the microphone that is built into these frames. There's a five different microphone array in these frames. And again, the audio they're listening to right now is being recorded with the sunglasses and the sunglass only. So this is what it sounds like. Now, as far as storage goes, these have a 32 gigabyte a hard drive built into the frames, which is actually pretty impressive. And that allows you to store over 500 photos uh, to these frames without having to sync it up to your phone. And then also allows you to record 50 plus uh, 60 second videos as as well, which again is really impressive. So you're not going to have to worry about constantly syncing these uh, to your phone. The 32 gigabytes is definitely quite large and it's going to last you probably months without actually syncing it and then importing them from the glasses to the phone. And even after you import them, they'll actually still stay on the actual uh, smart glass as well until you actually go in and delete them, which is really cool because then you got some redundancy. So you don't have to worry about losing your precious videos or photos. So overall, I think it's a really fun pair of frames from Ray-Ban. And as far as pricing goes, these are actually priced very affordable, coming in at $299. Now, a normal pair of of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers with non-polarized lenses is going to come in at, I believe, around $280. So these are gonna cost you only $120 more than an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. But of course, those original Ray-Ban Wayfarers have all glass lenses, which are going to last a lifetime. The optical clarity is better than these plastic lenses. And then they also do have acetate frames with a metal core construction and seven barrel all metal hinges. So definitely a lot going for it with the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. So each one definitely have their pros and their cons, but I'm still impressed 
rest of these frames only cost $120 more than those original Wayfarers, uh, which is really good if you're looking to buy a pair of these frames. I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to uh, Ray-Ban's official website and Amazon. Uh, you can click those for current pricing and availability. Uh, the holiday season is coming up soon, so I think they do have a couple discounts on their websites. So again, make sure to click the link in the description down below for the most current and up-to-date price on these frames. Now, something that I have to mention about these frames is the fact these have some of the absolute beefiest all-metal hinges that I've ever seen in a pair of sunglasses ever. They're just super, super beefy and strong. And that's probably because they have to run a lot of wires uh, from the uh, sunglass uh, camera uh, to the components here. So there's a lot going through these hinges, but they're just super, super strong and overbuilt. And I really do like that a lot. And then here on the left does have a little meta logo that's uh, etched into it, which is kind of a cool touch as well. Just really, really overbuilt. So overall, I think it's a really cool pair of frames. Now, something I do have to know, uh, these frames, again, are a collaboration between Ray-Ban and Meta, and I really don't like Meta from a privacy standpoint, so I really cannot support these as far as that goes. And as soon as I'm done importing photos from these frames, I immediately uh, block access to the app uh, from allowing it to view all my camera uh, roll and my photos and videos and everything like that. So I do not give them access unless I have to do transfer the photos and videos over. Uh, and I would highly recommend that you do the same as well. But that's just me looking at their entire privacy uh, history and, and what they do with your data. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, so definitely need to disclaim that. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Uh, let me know and let's start a conversation in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.